really good seafood department down there. Any questions you need to ask? Um, about you know the seafood, how to cook it, whatever. There's also some wonderful brochures on the seafood case that talk about the different types of fish and um, how to cook them, what's best with what, whatever. Um, so those, that's a really good resource. The tilapia is just a kind of a thin fish. Looks like this. Yep. And hello. We're gonna just spray the pan and put it on here. This is a, you know, a kind of a light fish, you'll be able to taste it. And we're going to make a fruit salsa to go with it. Okay, there's that. Now these are all about the same thicknesses, which is good. Get rid of that. And I should always say we have, um, also say we have Welcome Matt back. He was our original cameraman, so it's good to have him back. He was the one who thought, when they called me and they told me, you can cut this out, and you, they told me they were gonna do this, I'm like, okay, okay, I can do this. Well, I, I can do this one night. So as they were leaving, they said, hey, we'll see you next week. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So, then it's gotten easier. All right, this is a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna measure it out. This is a little bit of Italian seasoning to put on it and a little garlic powder. We really don't need to measure it. I gave you measurements in there, but it's just some shakes because that's what we're going to season that with, right? Yes. And I'm going to stick this in the oven. It's going to, I've got it at 350. We're going to put it in for about 10 minutes. Okay. And you know, to top this, because it's going to be, you know, the, the herb seasoning, we're going to make a fruit salsa. Uh, I've got some mango and kiwi. I got carried away and cut all the kiwi. I was going to leave one cut. Um, the best way to cut a mango, I like to just kind of slide it down, my knife down each side of the pit if you're standing it up. And the mangoes have been really good, very good, very plentiful this year. And cut around the pit. I don't know if, you know, we've talked about this before. The mango pit's like a sort of ovally flat pit. So we need to, you know, like I said, just stand it up and I'm gonna just take this little thing out. And now, now that you have this little shape, I like to just make cuts in it. Oops. This is the best way to do a mango. You can't really peel it and then try to cut it. It's going to slip right out of your hands. And then we just turn it right side out or inside out or whatever and cut this off. We've done this before. And like I said, the mangoes are good. I believe they're still on sale. That's always a good thing. We have to, you know, build up those fuel bucks. And our red pepper, about a half a cup, it's a half, a half of red pepper, and our jalapeno, we'll talk about that in a minute, and our red onion. Because even though it's a fruit salsa, we still have to have some stuff to make it taste better. I'm going to put gloves on because I won't remember that I was cutting a jalapeno without touching my face. It, and this is recommended to you, you know, any recipe I've seen where you use the jalapenos, they always say to put gloves on. If you're careful and you're paying attention, do you really need to? I don't know. I, you know, I've done, it, I've done it before, but you can't be, you know, you got to concentrate on what you're doing. And you can't stop what you're doing and answer the phone and then go, oh yeah, it's over. So just a jalapeno, I like to cut the stem off and then just split it down the center. 
Now I always take the seeds out. That's where the, the hotness, spiciness comes from. So if you take that out, it's not quite as, hot, as, as spicy. And that's what you have to worry about too with um, touching your face or your eyes or whatever. And whenever you do this, you always want to make sure that you wash your hands after. Okay. Wipe it off with that. All right. Oops. And I just like to really finely chop this. I like things that are spicy, but not so spicy that all you taste is the heat and nothing else. So I like to chop it fine instead of getting a big taste of pepper in your whatever. And if you've got one of those little chopper things, you know, that you could put down, a lot of them have that, the cup part in it, you know, those things that you go like, have the cup part in it so you could just take, you know, cut your jalapeno in a couple of pieces, maybe four pieces, and then put it in there and you don't even have to touch it because it's all chopped in that little dish and all that, so. I do have one of those and I have used it when I do peppers, but then you gotta wash that stupid thing. I don't know, yeah, there's too, way too many parts in some of these things. Gloves are cheaper or just really paying attention is, you know. Okay, so there's our jalapeno. Uh, in this, we're gonna put um, some lemon juice and lime juice, a tablespoon of each. Here's some honey and salt. There's our um, ingredients. We're gonna use um, some mint. And this would be a good recipe if you bought the mint from last week for the chicken salad to have, use this and use the rest of the mint. We just need a couple of teaspoons of this. our fruit salsa all ready to go pretty on top of our tilapia we still have ooh, just a few seconds and that should be ready and of course the longer you let this sit the flavors are going to kind of blend together there we go I'm going to do a quick look oh I think that does look ready so we'll go ahead and plate that. Okay, so that's mixed up. We out. And one good way to test it is to see if this may not be, oh yeah, it feels pretty good. See if it's really easy to flake with a fork. See how easy that is. So that is done all the way through. So we're gonna take a piece. Let's take this piece. Whoop. Nice white fish. Let's put move that back together. I'm just gonna set this over here for a minute with some oil over it. Keep that warm. And I'll just put a little fruit sauce on there. So there we go with one of our summer seafood meals. Our uh, herb. What is it? Garlic herb tilapia with fruit salsa. Okay.